He said one day you'll leave this world behind So live a life you will remember My father told me when I was just a child These are the nights that never die Good morning people, it is the first day of high school It is currently 7.09 we should probably leave around 7.30, but that's okay. It doesn't take me too long to get ready. I am nothing but excited to start school today. I would honestly say I'm not nervous. I don't think I have anything to be nervous for. They posted yesterday that masks are going to be mandated. I was planning on wearing a mask anyways, so I was actually in... I was swimming when they sent it out. And then once we got back to the locker room, I was heading out the door. And one of the girls stopped me. She's like, hey. Did you know masks are mandated uh, now for school tomorrow? And I went, sweet, see ya. <laughs> I, was, I was just kept walking and I don't think I gave her the reaction she was looking for. I think she was expecting me to be more like, oh, gross, I hate wearing masks, that sucks. But uh, no, I'm actually very happy about that. It makes me feel more comfortable. Even though I'm fully vaccinated and wearing a mask is just about all that I can do to do my part, it makes me feel more comfortable knowing that other people are going to be wearing their masks too. Hopefully, they're supposed to. Money. Okay, I probably won't talk to you guys while I'm in the car, but just while I'm here, I'm having a protein shake for breakfast and a protein waffle. I'll see you guys when I get the car. I took a few things out of my backpack, things I don't see as something I'm gonna need, a couple holders and uh, my homework binder. But just to make room so I can put my lunch in here. We don't have lockers this year, so I have to carry my backpack and my lunch. My lunch is huge. So we took out a couple things just to make as much room as possible. I also have my swim bag for practice. So mom's gonna drop me off at the school. I'm gonna put my swim bag in my locker. And I'm gonna take everything to my class, my first class. Anyways, I'll see you in the building. It's Justin, we haven't made the turn because look at these cars. They don't stop. <laughs> You can see that I've officially made it to my first hour. This is history, and this is the paper we were given. We were just instructed to color it however we wanted, and this is what I did with it. To the flag of the United States of America. From here, I went to my second hour, which is health. Now, I go to a school in a very big building, but I'm very lucky to have my first and second hour really, really close. Um, this is me walking from my first hour and I'm already to my second hour. This video from Link Day shows my second hour and that door over there is my first. I'm vlogging today at Brooklyn. We're in health. And Rebecca, she's over here. Now I'm on my way to geometry. I took two courtyards. This was the first one, and then this is the second one. They are with huge shortcuts. They save so much time. This is all I filmed in this class, but after I went to lunch, which was the beginning of a fantabulous thing to laugh about. Okay, so we're here at lunch. We have the earliest lunch. It's only like 10 o'clock or something. So anyways, I'm here with Brooklyn. I don't know who else is here that we know, but we have Brooklyn, so that's all that matters. What do you have today to eat? Chips and a sandwich and a brownie and an apple. You have a brownie? This yeah. one's good. Okay, now my turn. I gotta set you up. Okay. Uh Anyways, I want to film right now because it's like the only time I really have. I've tried filming in class as much as possible without it being a distraction and being like caught. <laughs> I don't want to say absolutely something I get in trouble for, definitely not. But next I head to fourth hour, which is language arts, and then I get to go to stagecraft. And that's what I'm really excited for. Stagecraft I have first semester, it's only a semester long, but I basically get to help design and create the sets for like the school plays and things like that. So that's really exciting. And Brooklyn over here is heading to ceramics. And I'm very excited for her. I forgot to mention this, but we have to sit a seat apart. So yeah. each in every other seat has a yellow thingy on it. So Brooklyn, stay back. I should probably film me this way. It's probably way better quality. But anyways, we're gonna finish eating. See you next class. Okay, on our way back to class. I mean, Brooklyn was all along. Brenna. Brooklyn.
Brooklyn didn't eat lunch alone. Thank God. Because I ate with her. Why are you here? I went to both lunches. Why are you here? How are you here? I don't understand. Well, uh, I was told originally that, you know, to find out what lunch you are in, it goes off your fifth hour. So I checked it on fifth hour and said, and it was a lunch, right? And then I saw Brooklyn, and she's like, that's not right, it's by fourth hour, and that sounded better. And my fourth hour is ELA, and she had just come from ELA, so I told her, whatever teacher you just came from is my fourth hour. So she checked it again for me and just said, you're still a lunch. Moral of the story, I did not have a lunch, and the list that she used to see what lunch I was going to be in had nothing to do with lunch. It was literally just a list of teachers, but I'm really not mad. Never was. It's okay. It gave me something to laugh about, and I feel bad for the people who had a normal, boring day. I got to eat lunch twice. Now I'll never forget my first day of high school. <laughs> I just got home. Well, kind of just got home. I already ate. Look, look. They surprised me with the cake. School today was actually really, really good. I love all of my teachers, like every single one, and I got to laugh at some really stupid mistakes. I got to laugh a little bit. I was bit. outside with TJ, and I was just cracking up about it. It was so funny to me. <laughs> I was very... I wasn't lost, but I was very confused. And then when you're standing outside, you're like, there's people out there. I'm like, there's no way you're in there. Yeah. You can't be in the right spot. You need to find an adult. <laughs> yeah, and I did. And they didn't know what to do, so I just went and talked. I figured it out. Anyways, I have a knife. <laughs> I was getting so bad.